Alright people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, uh, I believe that when DDs were added on, I did a Fake Card Friday card of a DD, and I guess since DDs are taken off, we'll go ahead and look at another one. So this person decided to go ahead and make a Fusion DDD this time. We're going to be looking at this card, and I guess comparing it to the Fusion DDD monsters. So this is DDD Vampiric King Tepes. Uh, he is a level 7 Fiend Fusion Effect Dark Monster. 2500 attack at 1000 defense, so uh, he's still level 7 like uh, like Oracle King, but weaker. You know, only 25 instead of that powerful 28, which is, you know, over the attack rate, only the attack rate. Uh, made with two or more DD monsters, alright. So, uh, just like Oracle King and also Genghis as well. So, I guess we'll be comparing it to those two. So, Genghis and Oracle King, uh, you know, I'm not an expert on DD. I'm actually kind of crappy at playing it, and you guys know that. You've seen it for two months of me just being crappy with a deck. But, uh... You know, I do, I do at least know my way around a couple of things. So we're going to be comparing those cards and hopefully seeing some synergies and plays with the DDD deck. Because if it doesn't bring anything to the table for the whole DDD combos, then it's not worth running. So, let's go ahead and look at the facts. So, uh, this card is Fusion Summon. You draw a card. You can draw a card. Simple as that. Alright. So, generally you're going to be Fusion Summoning uh, with, uh, with uh, Swirl Slime, Necro Slime, or your... Swamp King. So your Swamp. Why I call it Swamp King? I don't know why. I, is this, I don't even think it's called that, but I like uh, King of the Swamp. Yep, King of the Swamp. Fuse it with the King of the Swamp. But I think I think it might be. Or I don't even remember the name of the spell card. It's been such a long time since I played the DDDs, and I didn't really use that spell often. But anyway, so if you go ahead and use Sword Slime with something in your hand, that would still. I mean, you use two cards. You summon this, and then you draw a card. So two for two. Not bad. Not bad. Um. If you use your uh, your necro slime, but like banishing it and another and another DDD monster, you summon this and get to draw a card. So that that's pretty good, you know. Uh, you, you can always see that next card. The next card can definitely be a big combo piece. So you can go ahead and just summon this to draw a card. That's not that's not too terrible. It's not too terrible. And then uh, your swamp king or, or king of the swamp or whatever the spell card. Uh, you as you I think you send cards from your hand or filter graveyard, and if it's a DDD, you can banish cards from your graveyard so uh i mean like i said you're just going ahead and summon this and draw a card it's not too terrible to start off i must say not even oracle king gives you uh you know even out of your resources on that generally if you're going to uh fusion summon and I'm, I'm thinking about swirl slime right now if you go ahead and swirl slime something in your hand with swirl slime to summon or uh, uh or king you're still taking an egg you know but this no you even out so interesting uh next effect uh, if you special summon a DDD monster, you can declare one type, monster spell, or trap. Your opponent must banish one of them declared types from their deck. I mean, I, at least grow up. Yeah, his name is Va Vampiric King, and I, I get it. You know, vampires, they, you know, they do. But why? I, mean, I said, that's, my, that's one of my big problems. If, if you don't do anything to promote the plays of DDDs, then I'm just not sure if I can really like you. You know, that, that, that doesn't really do anything. Uh, if if I wanted to get some bang for my buck for special summoning some more DDDs, I would just, you know, go into Genghis, you know? <laughs> I would just go into Genghis if I'm planning to special summon more. But if all I'm getting is my opponent just banishing a spell trap or monster from their deck, like, eh. If it was, like, from their hand, maybe. But deck, eh. You know, that's not even resources in the current state of the duel. It's cards in your deck don't count, so you're banishing a card from your deck. You still have the same amount of resources on hand and field, but if you said, you know, I can go ahead and when I special summon a DD monster, I declare a monster spell a trap, and my opponent must banish one of those declared cards from their hand, maybe we could talk, but that, no, no. And, uh, you can only use the effect of DD Vampire King Tepes once per turn, so, uh, if you think that you're just gonna keep on. Sp Apparently, even if you think, I don't think the effect is that powerful, you think that you can just keep on special summoning a whole bunch of DDDs and picking everything out of your opponent's deck and making them deck out. Like, no. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, eh. And then, last effect, uh, once per turn, you could discard one card, then target one banished DDD monster or special summon it. Alright, well, I mean, DDDs banish, but they don't banish too much. I mean, what's good banished? Swirl Slime gets banished when it's special summoning something from your hand, but special summoning Swirl Slime doesn't really do much, and when you banish Necro Slime and some other DDD monster, you can go ahead. So I guess that's the plan. So I, I guess it's something for Necro Slime. It seems like it. So you have Necro Slime in the graveyard with another DDD monster. Let's just go ahead and say, I don't know, Oracle King. Let's go Oracle King. So you have Oracle King and, and Necro Slime. You Necro Slime banish 
uh, itself and Oracle King summon this. Then you can go ahead and draw a card, discard a card, summon that Oracle King back. They're both level 7. XC, big guy, take your monster. I mean, like I said, DD still don't have a rank 7, which sucks because they have some. Uh, they have Oracle King, who is level 7, and you can, besides going to big guy, it's not too much, but yeah, it'd be nice if they got a nice, powerful rank 7 DD sea monster, but. Anyway, so I, I guess that, that that's the one big synergy I definitely see, or whatever you banish with a, a slime swirl swamp king spell continuous. Act. <laughs> I'll get his name eventually. By eventually, I, I mean I really don't care. So yeah, so that's a play I see. I can see. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and get my final verdict. So if this is a real DVD card. Would you play it in how many? I would say you play it. There's play it. There's actually a combo. There's synergy there for the deck. I'm not really concerned with its middle effect, but being able to fusion some of this and draw cards nice and be able to go ahead and uh, discard a card if someone wanted my banish duty monster, especially what I can go ahead and banish with, with uh, Necro Slime, is uh, pretty good as well. You know, it can even be like a, uh, you know, uh, like a Ragnarok or something. Banish him and then summon and get the effect to search and, I mean, to summon back another monster. So there, there's some combo pieces there. So I would say run it and I would say run one, you know. Uh, it, it's good, but it's not too good. If you're going to go off and do a whole bunch of shenanigans plays, maybe you should bust out the Alexander, the Genghis first. Uh, like I said, there's synergy, but it's not the greatest. I, I just don't like that middle effect. It's just like a, I get it, Vampiric King, but I didn't need you to give it Vampire effects because it just doesn't have any synergy, you know? If you want to have synergy with Vampires, you can make it so they run the fill spell, but without really any synergy in the DDD sense, I'm just not feeling that, that middle effect. Like I said, if it's from the hand, maybe we could talk. And yeah, then we could definitely talk. But from the back, I don't care. <laughs> you know, send it. Hey, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and say monster spell or trap, and you guys send one. Oh, it's banished from your decks. No. So tell me what you guys think about this guy in the comment section below, and tell me if you guys are running and how many. As you guys know, I'm not a deep expert. I can't even remember the name of the goddamn uh, fusion spell card. <laughs> but uh. Uh, I, I I played it for you know two months now, so I know at least some of the combos, and I see some combos with this guy, but not enough to just be like, oh, well, let me go ahead and just completely take out Oracle King out of my extra deck and throw a whole bunch of King Tempest. Let's go. So yeah. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we will be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.